Good morning. This is Nature in Your Backyard on April 7th, and I'm here not in a backyard, but in a front yard this morning. And the reason I'm in a front yard this morning is I have a tenant that lives in this house here, and she called me up um, to tell me that she's got a lot of bees flying around her front porch. So I came down here to check it out, and uh, sure enough, there are honeybees here. And I think they've taken up residence under her front porch right here. So um, we've talked about, we've done a couple episodes already um, on bees and wasps. And if you go back on my uh, YouTube channel, you'll see uh, an episode on paper making wasps, including hornets and paper wasps and uh, yellow jackets. And I took apart a yellow jacket nest. Well, I'm standing here. I don't know if you can see any of these bees flying around, um, and I'm hoping I, I don't annoy them enough uh, t till I get stunk. But later this afternoon, I have a bee expert uh, that's going to come and check them out, and we might be able to get some footage of to show you how we take out a swarm of bees or a, or a bee colony that's taken up residence. Usually, this time of the year, bees are swarming. Uh, we call it swarming uh, because they are starting a new hive and they start a new hive when the hive they're in at the time uh, gets too crowded and it's also a way for bees to reproduce and create new colonies and stuff. So what generally happens is when the uh, there's a lot of pheromones, chemicals released by bees in the colony and the whole colony is ruled by a queen. Uh, Game of Thrones has been very popular on, on TV. A lot of adults are, are, are watching that. Um, and it's about competition between royalty. And uh, when a queen realizes that the uh, colony has gotten too big, basically what she does is she gathers uh, uh, about half the colony together. And uh, they, uh, the queen and the workers produce a... Um, uh, what they call a royal, I forgot the word, a, a, a royal cell where they raise new queens. So the queen will leave with half the colony to go find another place to live. And the remaining colony in the, in the original hive will feed those royal queens. The first queen to come out will be the queen that takes over the colony. And the first thing she does, like on Game of Thrones, is she kills the other queens. And that's how colonies reproduce. The swarms are usually uh, seen in trees hanging from a limb, and they will hang out uh, while uh, worker bees and scouts will go scout a new place. We think that bees have taken up residence in this porch here because uh, usually the, if they're just a temporary swarm, they're going to be uh, hanging in a tree somewhere. So to, uh, later today, I'm meeting with a, a beekeeper, and we're going to evaluate what we've got here. And uh, we'll have some footage of uh, how to remove a swarm of live bees and move them to a better place, because this isn't a really good place for the bees. So this has been uh, Frank Taylor coming to you live, not from my backyard, but somebody else's front yard here in Radford City in Radford, Virginia. Stay tuned and we'll see uh, if we get some great footage of removing a bee swarm later today.